Hey guys, welcome back to my grilled cheese series. Today we are on episode 10. Here we are with Brie and baby PJ. If you guys remember from last episode, Brie is pregnant again, but with a baby girl this time. So I think today, the first thing that we're gonna do is actually call the obstetrician and plan our birth. Okay, so I think for Brie's second birth, we're gonna choose last time she had a home birth and half was supposed to be here and he was here for a bit but then he kind of disappeared and we just got left with the midwife but this time around feta is actually our birthing partner and she's just there to support us as a friend so i think we might go ahead and do a natural delivery at the hospital just to do something a little bit different this time okay it says that we travel to the hospital when we are in the early stage of labor but early labor can be unpredictable oh it it varies from hours to days okay and it says during labor that we could try exercising on the birthing ball or take a walk okay that's awesome super looking forward to that and it looks like baby pj really wants his rest time here so we can she's gone off to get some grilled cheese but brie we're gonna need you to come back and put baby pj to bed here we go you settle down for a bit baby pj have your little rest time then brie is hungry so we will get her to come and get her grilled cheese also guys if we take a look at the calendar and today is actually the romance festival so we might see if we have time if we haven't gone into labor yet obviously if we can head off to that because there are some awesome flowers at the romance festival that are worth quite a bit of money actually i'm not sure if they're in season right now but we can try our luck anyway see what kind of money we can make at the romance festival also guys, we still haven't told the father of the baby that we are pregnant with his baby. So I think Bree's gonna go ahead, make some grilled cheese here because I think Bree thinks grilled cheese is always a good peace offering for any kind of awkward situation that she gets in. I mean, she's a socially awkward sim. So to her, cheese is her comfort. So I think she thinks if she cooks up some grilled cheese, everything's gonna be all right. Cam will take the news really well. They'll hug, be friends and move on with their lives that's that's what's in her head anyway to her that's what grilled cheese will do for everybody <laughs> she's finished her grilled cheese now we're gonna go ahead and get her to give cam a ring and invite him over before we go into labor also we could probably get her to express some milk so pump left and pump right oh baby pj is so cute sleeping on his front like that Oh yay, Cam's here already. Okay, so I think it's probably time to have this awkward chat. Oh wait, she's, wait, we're gonna, yeah, we might wait for her to stop expressing milk before we um, drop the bombshell. <laughs> okay, so Bree's just come over to Cam now who just casually went on the PC and she's like, Cam, would you come outside with me? There's something I need to um, speak to you about. And it's a beautiful day, so why don't we come outside to have this chat? And I think Cam's like, um, okay. And he's like, before you say anything, Brie, I've got to say, you look really different from the last time I saw you. Um, you're kind of, you're, you're glowing. And Brie's like, yeah, I'm bigger. And Cam's like, well, I didn't want to say anything, but you know, you look healthy. You look really good. You look beautiful, Brie. And I think Brie's like, oh, thank you, Cam. I really appreciate that. And I think she's gonna say, whilst we're on the subject of me uh, glowing and looking bigger, there's something I really, really need to talk to you about. And Cam's like, okay, what is it? What's wrong? Just tell me. And Bree's like, okay, no, I need to stand back up for this. <laughs> Nacho's like meowing so much. He's like fully supporting Bree in, in this kind of awkward moment. And I think Brie would be like, so the thing is, Cam, you know, um, we had that drunken thing a while back and he would be like, yeah. She'd be like, well, um, I'm pregnant and I'm about to have the baby soon. Cam looks really happy about this, actually. Let me check the moodlets. They're so happy. 
Bree's partner was delighted with the news of the pregnancy. More than Bree is, even. It's good to know Bree will have support. Oh, that is so cute. So Cam's actually really happy about the pregnancy. And I think, looking at this, he's offered her his full support. And maybe, guys, since Cam is so happy about the baby, maybe we should ask him to be our birthing partner i know feta was gonna do it and she was fully gonna support us but the fact that cam is so happy to have the baby i'm sure he would want to be there for the birth so yeah i think let's go ahead and ask him looking at Bree's moodlets she's really craving sweet food so we might make her a bit of sweet food in a bit maybe we can make her some like sweet cheese maybe some cheesecake that would be nice <laughs> oh my gosh, Aura's popped around to see us. That was so sweet of her. She just randomly turned up. I love our friends. They are so cute. Oh, and she's giving us a gift. Is this like a gift for the baby? Oh my gosh, Aura, you are the sweetest. She is so cute. We love our friends. Why don't you come in and hang out? We're just here with Cam. So we're going to surprise Cam and say that we were gonna go with Feta, but now since you're so happy about the baby and you're fully on board and really supportive, I just wanna ask you if you wanna come to the birth of the baby. Oh, and Cam said, if me being there will make it easier for you, then count me in. Well, no, it won't make it easier for us. We just thought, you know, you'd wanna be there. So that's why we asked you. <laughs> okay, and the romance festival just started. And I think Brie actually really wants to go to the uh, romance festival. So Cam is such a nice guy that I think he will probably turn around and say to Brie, you know, if you want to go to the romance festival tonight, go out with your friends, have some fun. I mean, it's not like you're going into labor yet, but you probably will really soon. So you need to go out and have some fun. And I think Brie would be like, oh my God, Cam, you're so sweet offering to look after baby PJ for me whilst I go out with my friends. And I think Cam's like, look, it's no problem. Go ahead, have a good night. I'll see you in a bit. You'll only be a few hours anyway. See you soon, Brie. And Brie's like, oh my God, thank you. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we have arrived at the romance festival and straight away, Brie has jumped onto the art table. She absolutely loves painting. And you know, she still does really need the money. So I don't blame her for coming straight over here. That was her intention today. She did want to come here to be able to get a bit of money. And then when she's finished this painting, we'll uh, get her to harvest all of these plants over here because they're going to be worth a bit of money. Oh my gosh, she can water the plants with her tears. Brie, are you feeling that sad, hon? Why are you feeling so down? It's been a pretty good day, you know. We had that chat with Cam. He was really happy about the baby. He's going to come to the birth with you. There's nothing to be sad about, girl. I think she's just having a pregnancy mood swing. It's fine. So she's finished her painting. Let's go ahead and harvest all the plants. What did she paint oh my gosh what is that it's it's a toddler crying it's a baby crying because his toy is broken we're gonna put that in our inventory to um we can't put it in our inventory oh yes put in inventory because we're gonna sell that for 300 percent more back at home <laughs> and i think she grabbed all the plants she could these ones are just kind of like stuck in the air there it's, it's kind of weird it's a glitch in the game i'm not sure why it's doing that but when we came to the festival, the only person that actually came was Feta here. <laughs> I think everybody else is busy. But we're going to go ahead and pour security together. Oh my gosh, look at these two. I was just minding my business and then I saw these two sims like this over here at the romance festival. That is just a adorable oh and this lady just threw confetti over this other lady i'm loving this romance festival there's a lot of love in the air but despite all the love and the positive vibes all around her brie is actually still feeling quite sad oh my god and she has just gone into labor wow okay we need to go and talk to feta and tell her what's happening <laughs> okay she's going to feta now she's gonna be like feta um i think my water just broke i think i'm about to go into labor i think i am in labor <laughs> Feta's like maybe you just need the toilet because i really do oh my gosh brie are you flirting these two are adorable they're all over each other at this romance festival love is in the air okay brie wants to be proper no brie it's just your hormones. You're not proper. You eat grilled cheese all day. 
and make babies with your friends. <laughs> and I think Feta would be like, Brie, we really need to get you to the hospital now. And I think Brie would be like, no, Feta, I need to go home first. Cam's looking after baby PJ. I can't just abandon him like that. And I said he could be there at the birth because he was so happy about this baby coming that I just, you know, I had to let him be there for the birth of his child. And Feta's like, I completely understand, Brie. All right, well, you look like you're in so much pain. So please. <laughs> They're flirting at the same time. So please, let's get you home and then we can get you to the hospital with Cam. And I think Brie would be like, okay, yeah, I agree to that, that's fine. Okay, we are back in the grilled cheese household. Cam is here and it looks like he already knows what's going on because he's freaking out a little bit. <laughs> but Brie's gonna be like, Cam, my water's broke at the romance festival. I'm in labor. I really need to go to the hospital now to have the baby. And Cam's like, let's, let's go right now, Brie, let's go. Okay, guys, we have arrived at the hospital to have this baby. Cam is freaking out over here. We're gonna go and speak to this obstetrician and we're gonna ask her to check our dilation. Not that we've done much yet to speed along this labor. We're gonna have to get on the birthing ball and all that fun Sims labor stuff. And this lady seems like a nice lady. I'm glad she's our obstetrician. Oh, bless Brie. She's just having a little nap now. She is so knackered from this labor bar how many centimeters dilated were we one centimeter okay well it's one o'clock in the morning we are in the hospital ready to have this baby but Brie is very tired and she's only one centimeter dilated so i'm gonna go ahead and let her sleep and we will catch up with you guys in the morning and get back to this uh labor <laughs> oh my gosh look at this puddle on the floor is that Bree's water's breaking did they not break earlier and she was mistaken and this was actually her water's breaking i don't know but we'll catch you guys in the morning <laughs> it is the next day now guys and Bree is still very much in labor and she's absolutely horrified and disgusted that they have absolutely no grilled cheese in this hospital whatsoever so she's had to resort to eating a blt and she's absolutely disgusted i mean look at her face she hates it it's okay brie soon you'll be home and you can get some proper grilled cheese eh she is literally so disgusted with this she's trying to gulp it down because she's hungry but yeah she's not happy then i think we'll get brie to go on a little walk there she goes walking around the hospital trying her very best to move this labor along swiftly cam isn't here right now because brie actually sent him home last night after it got pretty late and it became pretty evident that brie wasn't gonna have the baby last night so she sent cam home last night so he could get some sleep before the baby was born i mean he was pretty reluctant but in the end he did go home to get some sleep but he did make her promise him that she would call him right away when she wakes up the next day so she's probably just get dropped him a text there and when she's finished her walk she's gonna go ahead and give cam a ring and say hey i'm up now you can come back to the hospital <laughs> Okay, and I think she's done with her walk now, so she's just giving Cam a little ring to say she's up. It's nearly nine o'clock in the morning, so she probably feels like he's had enough sleep now. Here he comes. I don't know, he still looks pretty tired. He's still panicking quite a bit, bless him. Oh, but he's come straight over to Brie and started swaying with her, giving her a back rub, helping her out with her labor pains. He is so sweet. Oh, and I think now that Cam's turned up, her mood is getting better. Like, now she's got a mood lit for I got this from going into labour. Each wave of contraction feels more intense than the last, but Bree's got this. She managed her pain like a champ. It feels like a lot at times, but Bree is focusing on the thought of holding her baby for the first time. Oh, and she's got a mood lit from a shoulder to lean on for Cam being there for her. That is so cute. Not this same midwife who was chatting up half, chatting up Cam now. I mean, not that we are, you know, romantically involved with Cam, other than that he's our good friend and the father of our baby. But still, that woman is relentless. Okay, well, I think Cam's supposed to be giving Brie a back massage here, but the game is completely glitched out and they're both doing the animation, but in separate places. Lovely jubbly. Oh, come on, Brie, you've got this. 
Okay, and she's just doing a few exercises on the birthing ball here. And Bree's actually got some pretty good energised moodlets now. Uh, she's got one for all, that's the spot from getting a massage. Her lower back was actually killing her, so getting that massage felt amazing. And it really helped to ease her contraction pains. Amazing. Here we go with Bree doing her breathing exercises on the bed here and then i think we might get the what's this ask for epidural i've never done an epidural with a sim so i might go ahead and get an epidural soon but first of all let's ask to check dilation and okay the doctor that did it before isn't here uh we're not gonna ask this one she's no she's bad midwife we're gonna get dr faith foxglove to come and check our dilation for us oh my gosh it's the receptionist lady <laughs> oh no that's okay I'm sure she's got enough experience to do this. <laughs> okay, second check of the dilation. And what have we got, Brie? We're seven centimeters dilated. That's, what is this lady coming in here and shouting us for? Go away. We don't want you helping us, go away. But seven centimeters dilated is amazing. We only have three more centimeters to go. Brie's heading off to get another horrible BLT that she doesn't really want. She's probably a little bit mad at Cam that he didn't bring her in any grilled cheese. Oh, and Brie got a little confidence boost from that breathing exercises. But seeing as she only has three centimeters to go now, guys, I'm probably gonna go ahead and get her to do a few more labor-inducing activities off camera. And then when we come back, I'm gonna check her dilation and see if we can start having this baby. Okay, it's been a few more hours now and Brie has been doing a few more exercises to get her labour moving along. But we've got a moodlet here saying that the baby is ready to come out. So I'm just going to get her an epidural and then after this I think we'll get her dilation checked. Oh this is so cool, I've never seen the epidural done before, I've never used this part of the mod before so I don't think I've ever had the baby at the hospital naturally, I think I've always had a home birth. Now let's go ahead and get him to check our dilation, seeing as he's the one that's right there. Okay, the moment of truth, how far dilated are we now? We're fully dilated! Oh my gosh, we can go into labour right now! Okay, here we go. We're having the baby. Ah, she's pushing. Come on, baby girl. Oh, here comes Cam. You see the way he ran in to see the birth of his child. I can't, we just, we never had that before. That's, this is something new for Brie. I think she's so happy that she's got Cam here and she's got his support. Yay, and here she is. Brie just gave birth to a baby girl. This baby needs a name. What would you like to call her? And guys, I did ask you last episode what we should call our baby girl. I had a few comments in the comments section, but also I decided to make a poll to get your guys' opinions on this as well, because I know there's a lot of people that maybe just don't want to comment, but still might want to have some input on what we name the baby. And the result of that poll was that we are calling our baby girl mozzarella, and she is going to be called little Ella for sure and I just think that is the cutest and I think that name was first suggested by Genova Sims so thank you so much for that name idea it's really cute I love it oh my gosh I can't wait to see our baby I mean I don't know what the doctor's doing right now it's kind of weird <laughs> yay our baby is born look how happy Cam is <laughs> he's legit so happy to have a child he's like this is my baby girl and i think brie is like hey baby ella welcome to the world like i don't know if this baby is going to be glitched out as well um okay guys so we are back from the hospital and as you can see our baby is not glitched out so it completely was the mod i was using so if anyone else is having that problem the mod i needed to update was base mental so if you guys had that problem too then just go ahead and update that mod checking on baby pj he is super sleepy but he's in bed so like come on i don't know what your problem is dude Oh, he's already fallen asleep. Amazing. And do you know what? Brie is absolutely knackered as well. Look at her energy. She needs to get some sleep too. So I'm probably going to go ahead and just get these guys all to bed now. It's been a very long day with the birth of Brie's new baby. And I will catch you guys in the morning. 
it is the next day now guys and also winter has begun so i'm just having a brie now plant some winter plants for winter they're only spinaches so like they're not worth a lot it's only a pound also guys whilst brie was sleeping she got quite a few notifications so we got the notification for our bills which are 535 simoleons okay we got another notification for child support we got 6475 simoleons in child support for pj and mozzarella from cam and harve but also guys that's a good thing because our property taxes are due now and they are 10,000 simoleons so let's go ahead and pay all our bills and stuff <laughs> i think we have to pay our lot taxes using the snb bills app here we are so bills pay property taxes okay we just paid 10,000 simoleons for our property taxes that sucks so both the infant and the newborn are asleep at the moment oh blue just texts us to congratulate us amazing also guys it's worth noting today is nectar fest which is a super cool holiday actually because it means that we can go out drinking and get in the party spirit and tell stories so i think that we should invite some of Bree's friends out and go out for a drink and maybe some karaoke this evening but it is only 11 o'clock in the morning at the moment so yeah that's our plan for later on but right now i think it's best if we continue on our main goal which is getting this rocket ship built so we can fly to outer space and eat our grilled cheese in outer space so yeah while we've got a bit of spare time before nectar fest later on we're just gonna work on our rocket ship and hopefully get this upgrade done. How are we actually doing on our rocket science skill? Okay, we're level seven. We are 49% of the way towards level eight. So that's amazing. We're basically halfway to level eight and I think we need to be level 10 to complete this rocket. So we are really getting there now, guys. Also, where we have just paid our lot taxes and it was an absolute fortune, I'm gonna go into our inventory in build mode because there are flowers in here and I wanna go ahead and sell those. So we're gonna sell all of them. We've got like 65. Look how much money we're gonna get for this. We're getting thousands, guys, thousands from these flowers. Okay, 3,315 simoleons. Don't mind if we do. Um, I'm gonna keep this furniture because now that we have two babies, I'm gonna need to upgrade the kids bedroom to accommodate both of our infants i am probably just going to go ahead and age mozzarella right up straight away because she doesn't look like her parents we want our cute infant who looks like her parents but right now she needs her dirty diaper changed okay brie's got a long way to go on this upgrade so i'm gonna cancel it for a second so she can go and take care of the kids because little ella is crying so much bless her and also baby pj is up now and he needs his breakfast at least the baby's the newborn baby's crying has improved as i remember it was so jarring and annoying and loud but this baby's cry is more cute <laughs> yeah i just can't we need to age the baby up the thing is taking care of newborns really helps you raise your parenting skill really fast whereas it's harder to do that as they get older here we come to give baby pj his breakfast and the sooner we do this the sooner we can get back on with our rocket ship oh and yay baby pj liked oatmeal cereal <laughs> this is so cute <laughs> He loves it. All right, time to get back to our rocket ship. Oh no, we forgot to let PJ out before we went back to our rocket ship. Oh, she went over <laughs> She went over to baby mozzarella again. She's such a good mummy going between her kids like this. And I think, yeah, we're just gonna let PJ be out because he knows how to, <laughs> I hate that glitch, because he knows how to crawl around and get around and he might learn some new things actually. Actually, can we? Nacho is so cute. He's coming to play with baby PJ. We can practice standing with baby PJ So then maybe he doesn't hop around like this all the time because I think this hopping that is exactly what causes this glitch 
the hopping around. Hopefully we can get him onto the next stage, which is standing up. Maybe he won't do that hop thing all the time. Maybe he'd crawl instead. Also, I want to become companions with Nacho. Oh, Bri and Nacho became companions. They are so cute. Oh, Nacho is so happy. He's such a good boy. So let's finish this rocket ship upgrade so we can go out with our friends. Oh, she's too uncomfortable. All right, Bri, let's go ahead and just get on with this night out so we can complete Nectar Fest. In the UK, when someone has a baby, there's there's like a thing that people do after they have a baby and it's called wetting the baby's head. And it just basically means having a drink after the baby's born and everyone celebrates it. <laughs> so I think Brie would be doing that tonight. And I think she's gonna invite Cam, Feta, Aura, Blue, Harv. We'll invite Harv, hopefully he'll come. And we can also invite Rick just to show, you know, no hard feelings and everything. And I think we're just gonna head to the um karaoke bar in San Machino. Okay, so here we all are. We have arrived at the karaoke bar in San Machino. As a per the like goals of this nectar fest, we need to go ahead and just get a drink first, I'd say. So order drink, order drinks for group. Oh Jesus, some of these are really expensive. I've got to keep an eye on how much this is gonna be. So vodka soda is probably the cheapest. Let's go with that one. Yay, and Harv came out this time. I'm so happy. And so did Rick. Harv and Rick both came together. That's so sweet. And there's like a policeman on the karaoke in the background. Iconic. Yay, so everybody's getting their drinks now. Hopefully that will tick this off. I love it when these guys all meet up together. I think they all have such a great time. And look, Brie and Harv are actually talking. That is so good. Hopefully they might steal a moment, you know, to just have a chat with each other about everything that happened and maybe just, you know, clear the air. I absolutely love Aura and Blue. They are both so cute in their winter wear. I love the whole purple and yellow vibe. Harv uses the purple and yellow vibe as well. We love it. Okay. And yeah, it looks like Brie and Harv are leaving the group to go and have a chat out here. So let's go and see what these guys have got to say to each other. And I think Brie would kick it off by saying, so, you and Rick. And I think Harv would just be like, so, you had a baby with Cam. <laughs> and I think they were probably both just nervously giggle about that whole thing and then I think Brie would have probably say to Harv look I'm so happy for you and Rick really Harv and I'm so happy for you really that you managed to come out like Feta told me everything about your family and I just think you you're being so brave and I just want you to know that I really care about you and I always will and you'll always be one of my closest friends and obviously PJ's dad as well so we're always going to be in each other's lives and I just just want you to know that I fully support you and it's okay and I think Harv would be like look Brie about that I know how it came out about the cheating and you think that the cheating was a woohoo and it was bad and behind your back but I just want you to know that it was not like that at all what happened was me and Rick got talking one night and we basically both had a drink and we cried to each other and we confessed to each other about our sexuality and it was just a really, really emotional night that we both had with each other and we came out to each other and we shared a kiss. That was what happened. But obviously, yeah, you know, I am with Rick now. I am happy and I'm so happy that you're happy for me. And I think Brie would be like, that's actually a beautiful half. That's actually a really beautiful way that you came out. That's a really precious and beautiful memory for you. And I'm just really glad that you found yourself and found your person. And I think Harv would be like, Brie, I'm so glad we managed to come outside here and have this chat. I've really missed you. I've missed talking to you and I've missed our son, baby PJ. I'd really like to come and see him. And I think Brie would be like, of course, of course, come round tomorrow, come and see PJ. And we'll also make some arrangements about you having PJ on, you know, like a part-time basis, like us sharing custody of PJ. And I think Harv would be like really happy with that. I think this has turned into a really, really good night. 
but also we're not done yet we need to have another drink and it's getting late so let's go ahead and do that but i'm really glad these guys got to have this chat and air things out a bit and already their friendship is you know coming on at leaps and bounds so i think these guys will honestly be really good friends again and be able to co-parent pj in a really happy and safe environment but Bree does have a moodlet for people peeling away from feeling hurt by someone nearby. So she still does feel hurt by the situation of what happened. But she's really happy for Harv. And they're both moving on. And I think also Harv would probably say, so you and Cam, is that are you a thing now? And I think Bree would be like, no, 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 no. It was, it was kind of just a drunken thing. Me and Cam are just still obviously really good friends. We've got our daughter, baby mozzarella, little Ella. And I think Harv would be like, oh, Ella, that is so cute you Brie would just continue to say that yeah we just we're friends it was just it was a drunken thing that happened but we're really happy and yeah this is like kind of a blended family situation but I think it's all gonna work out just fine for everybody and I think these guys are gonna be really good friends again okay well after Harv and Brie's chat I guess they must have been out there for quite some time because uh everyone left and went home <laughs> even Harv has left now and gone it's gone 11 o'clock at night so it's actually quite late <laughs> but yay she's got her drink and she has just passed this part of the holiday tradition so next all she needs to do is talk about party spirit so i mean does she make a new friend <laughs> who's this fairy late who are these fairy people they are so cute let's make friends Okay, so we're drunkenly coming over to introduce ourselves to these fairy people. Bree's not quite sure if she's hallucinating these fairies because she is quite drunk. So I think Bree would be like, oh my god, you guys look amazing. Like, Bree is so drunk at this point. And she's like, you look great. Look at you all dressed as fairies. I wish I came out dressed as a fairy. You look so beautiful and pretty. And I think Bree would be like, you'll never guess what I literally just had a baby yesterday honestly i just had a baby girl and i think the fairy lady was like yay go you <laughs> oh my gosh i think brie's going up to do the karaoke <gasps> are you going on she's going on the karaoke she just does this autonomously she loves a sing song even though she's only level two singing <laughs> but she's having the time of her life <laughs> after having her baby just yesterday. And she's actually passed Nectarfest as well. So on that note, guys, I think I'm probably just gonna end this episode here. I will be aging up baby mozzarella and giving her a little infant makeover and also making over the bedroom for the kids for the next episode guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did please don't forget to hit like and let me know in the comments and me and brie will catch you guys in the next one bye